So you have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and you have an issue where you forgot your PIN or password or pattern code or maybe it's not working and you want to do a factory reset. The thing is, if you try to do a factory reset, a master factory reset, you have to turn off the phone first. But when you try to turn off the phone, it's asking you for your password to turn it off, okay? So I'm going to show you guys what to do, all right? Now, don't forget when we do the factory reset, you will, you will lose all your information, your photos, your videos, all your personal information will be long gone, okay? So this is what we have to do, and listen very carefully. So first thing we got to do is press and hold the uh, volume down and power. We want to press and hold for about 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, we want to let go of the volume down, and then press and hold the volume up. Never take your finger off the power button, and continue to hold the uh, volume up until you see the Samsung logo. So we're going to go ahead and do this together. And so first thing is this. Let me go ahead and try to power off my phone again. So I try to power off. It's asking for a password, okay? So now watch very closely, okay? First thing is volume down, power. Press and hold both at the same time. Hold for 12, about 12 seconds, all right? Volume down, power. Ready? One, one, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Just wait about 12 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then let go of the volume down and press and hold the volume up. Don't take your finger off of the power button. And just keep holding here until we see a Samsung logo appear. Sometimes it takes me two or three tries for it to work. Let's see if it worked here. I'm still holding on both buttons now. Samsung logo, let's let go and let's see if this enters us into the uh, Android recovery menu. Okay, it did. First time. Usually, like I said, usually takes me two or three times. Anyway, from here, you have the volume rockers here, and what you want to do is go down to wipe data slash factory reset, okay? Now, also, this is very, very important. Now, down here in red, it says, if your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account information, your Gmail account. So, basically, if you had this phone and you, had your, um, you signed in with the uh, email app, you put in a Gmail address, so it's linked so once we proceed after the uh, factory reset you start out with the initial setup and eventually as you start going through everything um, you know choosing english and your know, wi-fi wi-fi password and all that eventually it's going to ask you for the gmail account and the password that you had linked to this phone to proceed with the um the setup okay so from here we can proceed if you don't want to proceed you can just go back up to reboot system now and click on the power button to select it okay but for us we're going to go ahead and we're going to wipe data slash factory reset. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the power button to proceed. This is basically saying once we do this, this cannot be undone. Okay, so I'm going to go down to factory data reset and then I'm going to press on the power button to proceed. Ready? Go. And this whole process is going to take about two or three minutes. Okay, so this is done. Wipe data is complete. Now it's on a uh, reboot system now, which is highlighted is what we want. So now we're going to press on the power button to select it, and now it's going to go ahead and reboot and do its factory reset, and this will take about two or three minutes, so just be patient here, and it'll stay on this logo for a little bit, and voila, we're done. Pretty simple. Questions or issues, just comment below. Good luck.